Publius Ovidius Naso, Amores, Book One, Episode Three. Quis tibi sai wa puer dedit hoc in carmina iuris. P. eredum wates, non tuatur basumus. Now the poet Ovid speaks to Cupid, and he says, Who, to you, fierce boy, granted this jurisdiction, hoc iuris, this control over poetry, in carmina, over songs? We are the prophet, we are the poets of the muses, Pierre du Moites. we are not known to a turba sumus, we are not your mob, your crowd. So we have, first of all, the interrogative quiz in the masculine singular and nominative, who granted to you, Tibi? There's the indirect object in the masculine singular dative. We then have a vocative, saiwa puer, which is masculine singular and vocative and referencing Cupid, who to you, fierce boy, granted, dead it. There's the verb in the perfect tense from the first conjugation verb dodara, who granted to you, O fierce boy, hawk. There's the object in the neuter singular and accusative, and it takes a partitive genitive, hawk uris. This is from the third declension noun, use uris, which is neuter. Who granted to you, savage boy, this domain, this dominion, or this control over poetry in carmina, carmina in the neuter plural, and accusative. The second line continues the complaint and starts with a genitive plural, which is a feminine plural, and genitive, pieridum. These are the daughters of King Pieris, who are identified with the muses themselves. Then wates is a masculine plural, nominative, the plural here standing for the singular. So the poet or the prophet of the muses, we are, sumus, implicit, not your crowd, your mob. And tua turba is feminine, singular, and nominative. It's the second subject of sumus. So we are the prophets of the muses. We are not your mob. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.